In this video, we are going to learn about relative frequency. Let's look at it using an example. Asha rolls a six-sided die 200 times and records the results in a table. Estimate the relative frequency of getting each number on the die. Do you think the die is biased? So, Asha rolls a six-sided die, which means you can either get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 when she rolls a die. And of 200 times, she got number 1 21 times. And she got number 2 on the die 34 times. And she got number 3 23 times and so on. So, what is relative frequency here? Relative frequency is nothing but the probability of getting each number on the die. Let's see how to calculate it. Before calculating the relative frequency, let's put the total number of trials here. The total number of trials were 200. When Asha rolled the die 200 times, she got number 1 21 times. So, if Asha rolls the die once, what is the probability of getting number 1 on the die? It is 21 by 200 which is nothing but the relative frequency of we calculated the value here it is 0 0.105 okay. similarly the probability of getting number 2 on the die is 34 by 200 which is equal to 0 0.17 and probability of getting number 3 is 23 by 200 which is equal to 0 0.115. So, if you observe here relative frequency is nothing but frequency of the event divided by total number of trials. Let's see it again. So, Relative frequency of number 4 is frequency of 4 which is 56 divided by total number of trials which is 200. Similarly, relative frequency of number 5 is 43 by 200 which is equal to 0 0.215 and frequency of uh, 6 is 23 by 200 which is 0 0.115. So, this is how we calculate the relative frequency. Notice that if you add the relative frequency of each number showing on the die, it adds up to 1. Also notice that the relative frequency, the value of relative frequency should be always between 0 and 1. So the next question is, is the die Biased. If you see the data, you see that the relative frequency of number 4 and number 5 is much higher compared to other numbers on the die. Which means that if you roll this die, there is more probability of getting 4 or 5 compared to other numbers. Normally in an unbiased die, all the numbers are equally likely to show up. But in this particular die, number 4 or 5 are more likely to show up. That's why we can say, based on the results of this experiment, this die is biased. Let's look at another problem. Tickets sold at a cinema theater under different categories are tabulated below. How many tickets were sold? Estimate the chances that a randomly selected person in the theater had a gold ticket. They have given the frequency of each category of tickets sold. So, there were 200 uh, general tickets sold, 75 silver tickets, 50 gold tickets and so on. So, let's find the total number of tickets that were sold. If we add up the frequency of each category of tickets, we will get the total number of tickets. He, in this case, it is 350. Estimate the chances that a randomly selected person in the theatre had a gold ticket. That is nothing but the relative frequency of the person having a gold ticket. 
So let's calculate the relative frequency. It's 50 by 350, which is equal to 1 by 7. So that is the probability that a randomly selected person in the theater will have a gold ticket. I have printed out the solution for you. You can pause the video and take a look at it. Hope you have understood what is relative frequency now. See you in the next video.